Oh, no. get, get her to fade it a little bit more tonight, yeah? They've kept this pitch in incredible nick. Turn this one up, mate. When the sand of her lingers and temptation strong. What a tune! No, nah, you're not having it. I'm not singing. No? I'm not going to invite everyone to that. comes calling, baby. And negativity lies. Woo! Just on my way to Leeds now. Going to see the physio again. In preparation for Wednesday's game against Watford. I mean, I brought my chauffeur along with me today. To save me from driving. Because... Three hours there, three hours back, really does actually knack on my body. So I'm gonna get up there, see him. He's gonna work on my hips and whatnot again. Another mini MOT. Um, and yeah, I'll bring you along this time. Just finished up with Steve. Um, not gonna lie, hated every minute of it. Um, was on the bed for two hours, absolute torture. But look, like they say, no pain, no gain. And I know I'm gonna feel a lot better for it in the next coming weeks. Ready to train tomorrow. Um, I'm really preparing right for the Watford game come Wednesday night. All right guys, so my first exercise I'm gonna do in the gym. I'm gonna start with the biggest and the most strenuous exercise. And it's a Bulgarian split squat. Transfer so well onto the pitch, single leg exercise. If you haven't done it before and you start off doing it, you're gonna get real doms from it. Glutes, quads firing up. I like to work the eccentric face, so I'll do five seconds down and I'll explode up one second. After that guys, next one I like to do RDLs. Really tight is the hammies and glutes. I like to go heavy on these. Functional as well, um, one I've always done prevent hammy injuries, improve sprint speed, improve general strength. The next exercise, hip thrust. The massive one for the glutes. Vitally important you get these strong or you keep these strong. They don't sort of fire in games and whatnot and you pick up niggles and you start compensating from elsewhere. Um, I used to go really heavy with these, up to 250 kg or whatnot, but I didn't find it as beneficial as sticking to a lighter weight and doing more repetition. Last exercise guys, I like to finish the step ups. A few key points here. Make sure you push through the front leg, you don't use the back leg too much. Drive through the hill, and I like to extend on the hips as well. Big gym session banked, another leg session ticked off. Cannot beat that feeling of endorphins that get released into the body after a good workout. Um, so let's get ourselves home now, we'll rest up, we'll get some good food, we'll recover properly, and I'll see you guys shortly. Yes guys. It's the day before the Watford game. Um, I'm just heading into training now. Bringing breakfast with me today. Um, gonna get in, prepare for the game. I think we've got a yoga session this morning. Then we're on the pitch training. And then I'll do a little bit of gym. And yeah, get myself home, rest, get my feet up, recover on a normal text and prepare for the game tomorrow. Yes, Michael. Yes. Best chef in Buckinghamshire, isn't he? Look what we've got today. Waldy. Beautiful. Oh, <laughs> now we're we getting this on camera, bro. It looks well to you. Just leave it that. This has done a great job. <laughs> get get her to fade it a little bit more tonight, yeah. I have got vegan. You're not vegan. No. You can't be this big and be vegan. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to cut down, man. I want to be lean and mean and keen. Just had lunch. Come in. 
beast is working. Yo, yo. What's, go what's going on here, beast? What's going on out here, man? I've got to maintain, I've got, all these, I've got all these little kids out here trying to take man's throne, so I've got to make sure I'm still strong. <laughs> Stockholm, yeah? I've just interrupted these uh, gym session here. Yeah. What's this called? Stockdale's Joke Corner? Stockdale's Joke Corner. So yeah? It's just a little one today. Okay, cool. Right, so how does a poet say hello? How does a poet say hello? I don't, I don't know, mate. Please tell us. Hey, have we metaphor? <laughs> 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 wait, wait, don't, don't turn it off. Don't turn it off. I was in the back garden the other day, Taff. Yeah. You never guessed it was beautiful. And then I looked over and I seen two birds. They stuck together. I said to my mission, I said, Hey, what are those? She went, Don't worry, love, they're Velcros. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's such> bad <laughs> jokes. How do ice baths coming along, mate? Yeah. Are you getting any easier or not? Yeah, you're getting harder every time, I'm no pain. No game. Oh yeah, that's my motto. That's, that's it, man. So, I've just got back from training. The plan for the afternoon then, um, I'm gonna shower now. We can't shower at the training ground at the moment for, for COVID reasons and whatnot. So I'll quickly jump in a shower. I'll get a quick bite to eat. Something high in carbohydrates, high in protein, um, helps optimize energy levels for tomorrow night. You know, the day before a game, you want your calorie intake high. After that, I'm gonna jump on a normal text. It's all about recovery. Later on in the night, I'll um, I'll start watching clips of the Watford players tomorrow. You know, my opposition. Check out the strikers. See what the wingers are about. What footed they are. Really just helps me and and um, gives me a little advantage going into the game. All right, so I'm gonna jump on the Norm Techs. Um, these are a massive part of my recovery. Use them every single day. This is what they look like. If you've not seen them before, here they are. The Normatex are decompressing, well I've actually just started to compress now. So I've just done one cycle where every chamber's been compressed with air and I'll just sit here for about 40, 45 minutes, constant cycles. Um, and what this does, it just in, it's trying to increase blood flow to the targeted muscles. And, um, and yeah, it helps with things like speeding up recovery time, reduces swelling and inflammation, um, helps with things like DOMS, so you don't feel achy as much day after a big session or a game, and just helps with all round athletic performance. Good morning, people. So it's the day of the Watford game. Um, I'm buzzing to be back after being suspended for the Norwich game on the weekend. Tonight should be a really exciting game. You know, we're fighting for survival. They're fighting for promotion. It's gonna be a tasty encounter, this one. Thought I'd just get outside this morning, get a bit of fresh air before um, having breakfast. Something I like to do on a day game. Um, if it's an away game and we stay overnight, we normally have a little walk together before pre-match meetings and whatnot. So. Yeah, just outside, getting a bit of fresh air. The plan for today then, I'll um, head indoors, get breakfast, um, show you what I eat for breakfast. It'd be good to give you a little insight into what's best to eat day of a game or what I think is best to eat. Um, and then after that, I'll start mentally preparing for the game. Did a bit last night, do a bit today as well. Start watching clips of the opposition, how they score most of their goals, what the build-up plays like. And this will just give me a real idea of what to expect coming tonight. So. I'm not caught off guard. All right, breakfast time. This is the breakfast I'll have on a game day. And this is specifically for a night game. So a few things going on here. We've got the turmeric shot with, with ginger. Great anti-inflammatory, great antioxidant. I have one of these every morning to be fair, not just on game days. Protein shake here to get our hit of protein in. It's uh, been blended with granola that's high in glycemic index. There's a few almonds in there and they're strawberry and banana, so the almonds are for the hit of fats. The strawberry and bananas provide us with a, with a hit of fruit as well. Granola bowl with blueberries, raspberries. What I try and do is I try and stick to foods that are high in glycemic index. So foods that are going to release energy into the bloodstream quicker. Right here, we've got beetroot juice. Brilliant one. I start drinking this two days before the match day, twice a day. And what this does is helps carry nitrates around the body. So basically you get onto the pitch and you feel like you can run a lot more. You feel like your endurance is improved, your stamina is improved. And um, yeah, I've definitely noticed the effects of this one. So breakfast of champions. I've just got to the hotel guys and the weather is absolutely minging, but I love it. Personally, 
I've always loved playing in the rain ever since I was a young kid. Um, so we're going to get inside the hotel now. We'll have a, another bite to eat, a pre-match meal, similar to what we had earlier, to be fair. And then um, a few meetings, tactical stuff on them, set pieces, the standard stuff. Leave my car at the hotel, jump on the coach, and then it's straight to the stadium. Just at the hotel, waiting for a bit of grub. All the boys. Freddy. How many scoring today, bro? None. Uh, that's not the attitude I like. Eight. Oh, I love that, love that. That's what we want. Eight zip, what for the way? Fred, eight. Yes, 2Z. What are you saying, Skip? Cool. Good, nah. yeah? <laughs> Surely he can't have been surprised. All right, mate. You alright mate? Just got to Vicky Bridge Road. I'll get on this. Wow. Alright, so just got to the stadium. Standard procedure. Check the pitch. Check the surface. Beautiful for this time of the year. Like, get on the size of this stadium. Wow. Imagine this with fans. Beautiful. Fair play to the Watford groundsmen, by the way. They've kept this pitch in incredible nick. You have a look at any other champ pitches, pitches at this time of the year now, after the relentless fixture schedule. This is unbelievable. Can't use the uh, away change room for COVID, but here we go. This is where they cut us in. Just finished the game. It's a tough one tonight. Look, sometimes you just got to hold up your hands and say we were off it, and we were tonight. Um, probably showed them a bit too much respect in hindsight. We were a lot better in the second half, but once they got the seconds, it was a blow, a massive blow for us. Tried to get back into the game, but to be fair to Watford, they defended well, stopped us playing. Um, yeah, look, take the positives and move on. So we'll cover right now, get ourselves home and we'll go again. <laughs> 